Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm beautified. Okay, 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 okay. All right, <laughs> you know. Ow. And yes, this is <laughs> this is some footage before I start drinking. Okay. Hey everyone, anyway, I'm back. If you don't know me, my name's Amanya James, and I'm just so happy to be here today. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I'm already beautified, and as you can see, your homegirl kind of slated it a little bit, you know? It's AKA Valentine's Day, which <laughs> I don't celebrate holidays, so it don't mean squat to me. My man's at work while I'm here with y'all. So today's video is going to be about the Sip and, Sip and Slay conference that I went to. Excuse my S's. And S's will get you in trouble every time. But I'm just super excited. I'm super excited to talk about it. I'm super excited if you can like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because of the fact that you love me. You know you love me or else you wouldn't be here. You stay for the other two videos, so you might as well like, comment, and subscribe. But without further ado, come on, let's get started. <laughs> okay. My little PSA announcement is that wear a mask. I'm going to figure out a way. For me, personally, since my face is like oily, plus I have PCOS and everything like that, so just the sweat be, sweat be coming. I can't stop it. I can't stop it, but I will try. All right, all right, all right. Anyway, so like I was saying, basically I went to the conference and it was beautiful. It was fantastic. Literally, it was about building your brand. This particular conference was about building your brand. They have another one coming in May. I'm gonna link all the information below, but basically a woman named Nana, who is charge of the Instagram Every Stylish Biz, hosts these conferences. I think uh, I think it's almost every year, every other year. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna put more research into it because I really wanna like start doing my reactions to these. I went to it in January. At the end of January, it was virtual, of course. Come on now, we in a Pico de Gallo. So now, oh, what's this? What's this? Oh yes, oh yes. I What I messed up on was that I didn't drink during the conference because I wanted to get so much information in, you know what I mean? So I'm going to drink for this video though. I'm going to get my nails redone, I know. I know, I need to show y'all some new nails, but right now your sister is broke, okay? Your sister's broke, so she gonna work with what she got till she can't work with it no more. So, I have my wine glass. Here my wine, barefoot, Moscato, and I'm just going to... love to be a wine connoisseur girl because mm, your homegirl loves wine but you can like watch this video with any type of drink you name it but basically the conference you know you was about chilling and everything like that and you were just you was you was sipping slaying okay and getting some knowledge. And I'm working on the lighting and everything, so please tell me if this is too bright, too dark, or perfect, because that helps me a ton. It's a brand new white shirt, so if it does look bright, it's cause she white. All right, I got a white headband on and I got a white top on. And of course, you know, this will be on Instagram, as you may well know. But some of the information that I got was really insightful you know i'm third video in i am trying to build up my instagram i'm trying to build up my youtube i'm also doing like different other projects i have a podcast currently called for real out of pocket and yeah but most of they was talking about instagram and they was talking about quantity over quality 
No, my bad. I'm not, listen, I'm not, I haven't even sipped this yet. It's quality over quantity, okay? Which is what I've always has emphasized in my life. Like my dad has emphasized it. My mom has emphasized it, you know. I live in an apartment right now, so I definitely emphasize it right now. Saving money, but doing it in such a way where I'm still making really good content is super important to me and it should be super important to you. So they talked a lot about like YouTube. It was just all different types of information. Like one key one was use polls and quizzes to help with YouTube and Instagram. Like let's say you guys want me I want to know what you guys want me to create next so i'll just put that in a little poll you can either say yes no or it could be between three choices three choices biggest question that i have was what will stop someone scroll and that's a very good point you know what i mean because of the fact that when i'm on instagram i'm just honestly going like this or i'm going to instagram stories i feel like that's like super interesting because that gives me a chance to look into someone's life and that has also because even though i'm home i have a lot going on i think i don't have a lot going on but i do you know like sometimes it's a good day sometimes it's not a good day but for the most part people like the most part people like to be nosy okay people like to be nosy so because people like to be nosy if you want to help build your brand be active be active i listen you keep seeing me look off to the side it's because i'm looking at my notes i am looking at my notes these are all my podcast notes this is all my jade my storm jade haven notes these is these are all my notes that i take because I want this information to be there and stick with me. I even have information on when to post for Instagram, when to post for YouTube. I'm about to go back and do some more research on for when to post to TikTok and Facebook. You know, all the social medias that you are on, you need to know the specific time that you post and you need to know when your highest engagement is. For Instagram, they have a certain section called your insights. Shout out to my friends Raven and Kayla, who are also YouTubers, who hooked me up with that information. Like we're, me and them are always having conversations with each other, which is super duper important because share the knowledge, sis. Share it, okay? We all trying to uplift and help each other out here. It's not about tearing each other down. We black women. We black women. We're so powerful because we black women, okay? We powerful because we black, all right? So stop tripping, all right? You got this. You are amazing. You are amazing. Don't ever doubt that you are, are not amazing, okay? I am amazing. I feel amazing. I look amazing. I got certain insecurities like my chin, but guess what? Guess what? That makes my face so cute, you know? If you tall, shout out to you, cause you could stomp on, you could stomp on everybody with your looks. You can fit things that I can't fit. I'm a little bit thick, you know what I'm saying? I'm thick and, and I'm fluffy, all right? See my point? What you have is so, so important for you. I don't want to look like you because there's only one of you. There's only one of you. And that is my point right now. Like, there's only one of you. So the next one was pay attention to what content content works best and stretch it towards your other social medias which i find super duper important to do because after i finish this video i'm gonna upload my pictures that i take of course i take about 20 to 50 pictures i know that's a long time looking at yourself but you want to i'm an artist so it's even worse because i have to focus and make sure that my chin is not you know what i'm saying my body looking good and snatched all right 
like I was saying. You want to stretch it. So stretch it, girl. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid to stretch that content because we in a pandemic. Where else are you going to go? You look good that day? Post it. You want to repurpose your data, basically. So biggest thing that I learned was feedback is a four letter word, data. Knowledge, again, is everything. In the social media business, it's a, it's a game. It's all about marketing and promoting and campaigning yourself to the best of your ability. Me personally, I do all those things for myself. So I can only imagine people that actually have teams. like. For me, it's super duper difficult because I don't have anybody else really helping me, but that's not true. I have my other friends who are YouTubers. I have the support of my man and I have the support of my family, which is very, very humbling. And is I'm very blessed. And some people don't have that, you know? And that's okay too. Find support to help you with becoming a superstar. I want to be a comfortable superstar. So I wanna look good, feel good, and make people feel the way that I feel when I look at other people. I'm that person where if you're walking by me, I'm gonna tell you, you look amazing. And I know you're gonna laugh, and I know you're gonna say, oh, she doesn't mean it. I do, cause I'm like, listen, the artist in me is staring at you like, man, Ooh, I can take a picture of you. I can take a picture of you, I can paint you, I can draw you, you name it. I, it's beautiful. You are stunning. <laughs> I'm I'm that weird, I'm that weird girl, but you know what? There is a there is someone out there who may be similar to me and say, wow, I connect with this person. When you share yourself with other people, you're asking to connect with them and then for to connect with you that's the reason why i started my youtube because i want to connect with people i mean i'm not i mean i have a tight-knit group of girls and friends and everything but you know sometimes i also just want to talk to other people and it's hard <laughs> i'm a little awkward with that because i'm you know i'm out of practice you know so like i said feedback is a four-letter word d-a-t-a -A, data so gather up your research gather up your knowledge and combine it all together to make the fiercest baddest person that you can be not me you pivot and pay attention to what's working so you're gonna see my growth. You're gonna see that things are gonna start to change. You're gonna notice me doing different tactics. You're gonna notice me doing different topics and trends. Sometimes I wanna follow the trends and sometimes I also just wanna stay true to myself. For me, the most important thing is staying true to myself because this is a business where I'm, if I get closer to you, you can see it. I'm not wanted, okay? I'm not wanted because I'm not as clear and smooth skin as these other girls out here. I'm also not a size 12. I am between a size 18 to 20. So your homegirl is, is a bit plus size. And for so long, I kept, I kept trying to figure out what would be the best way. Nobody's gonna look at me, nobody's gonna want me. It all starts here. It all starts here and it starts here. I have cried so much. I have prayed so much. And right now I'm in a I'm in the best place that I can be, which is a period of transformation. I have realized that pleasing others at the end of the day leaves me so empty. And I don't want that for you. I want you to be better than me. I'm always gonna want other people to be better than me because that's how we all grow. That's how we all change. And I'm always so excited to see that because it's so beautiful to be a part of that, you know? 
the next one is which was beautiful my destiny is in my hands because it is your purpose isn't your final destination the journey is going to be full of obstacles it's the way you handle the obstacles that will teach you lessons that when you basically my mom always said this when you make mistakes mistakes were meant to happen and, but you, if you keep making the same mistake, then you obviously haven't learned the lesson that you were supposed to learn before. Take initiative in obtaining a partnership. For me, I would love, 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 love. Currently, I would love to partner with Artist Couture. That's just me. Because I love the brand. I love what it stands for. I love the products. For a long time, I wanted to buy Artist Couture. I wanted to buy it when, he, when Angel Marino first started. But I couldn't afford it. I eventually see myself, me, see me, supporting Black-owned businesses. I, I would love, love, love to be supported by Mented. I love their products. You know why I love their products? Their products remind me of Mary Kay. If y'all don't know what Mary Kay is, <laughs> look it up. But for everybody that has had a, a black, fa black um, family member who worked for Mary Kay, you know what I'm talking about. My mom, I love my mom, I do. We're too similar, but I love my mom. She used to work for Mary Kay and I would just watch her. I would just observe her putting her makeup on and just transforming herself. Like for me, the best part about me is that I like being a chameleon. I like having different looks. I like changing and transforming myself, even if it's a little thing. I love it so much. And that's the whole point. When you're looking for people to partner with or you're looking to be sponsored by them, you have to you kind of have to hustle a little bit. You also got to like be a little bit aggressive with them because they don't they don't know you from 1 plus 1, you know? Be in their DMs, be in their emails. Tell them, hey, here's why I think I should be part of your brand. Here's what I can do for you. Here are my rates. Email me back to let me know that you're interested. I'm going to be a person of my word. I am going to email Mented email artist couture i'm gonna have super anxiety about it but guess what i'd rather say that i did it than not do it at all i also want to get a business email because ooh, yeah this hitting a little bit <laughs> i also want to get a business email so that way when i do when i when I do get a bigger following and I get more people that are looking at me, I wanna keep things as professional as I can. I do not wanna mix it up with my personal, okay? Biggest biggest saying is you don't wanna eat and poop in the same location, all right? So that includes your emails, separate it. Keep it separated, okay? Learn what to say no to. Whew. Yeah, because the biggest thing for me when I'm trying to say no is I don't want to say no. I want to be able to say yes to things. I feel like I'm always saying no to things, but I don't like to hear the word no. Does that make sense? So when I say no to things, it's basically because of the fact that it doesn't serve a purpose to me. It's it's something that doesn't work for me. Like for me, I've noticed that currently right now, I am getting a lot of brands on Instagram asking me to be their brand ambassador. 
but they're kind of like saying, oh, well, I'm only going to hit you in your DMs. No, I actually have updated my bio to the point where I have said, I want y'all to email me. I'm going to, I'm going to say that from now on, I'm going to put it in my stories. And if any brand hits me up, I'm going to be like, if you really want to talk to me, you hear a noise in the background that's me pouring more wine in my glass because I'm just trying to finish the bottle. There's not that much left. But like I was saying, I want to be able to email them and tell them, hey, I am interested or them email me and say, hey, we're interested in you. Let us know what your rates are. And then I have to come up with that. I have to come up with rates and everything. Which is why most brands be like, oh, well, you know, we'll give you like free jewelry for life or like we'll give you like a discount code that you can share with your friends and things like of that nature. But I don't get me wrong. You see, I'm wearing jewelry like I'm wearing this from a brand. And then, of course, Tarjay, you know, I'm famous for going to Tarjay. OK, Tarjay, 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 Tarjay. Some of these products are from Tarjay, but. Most of it is either drugstore mixed with a little bit high quality stuff. Like if I was to go in and tell you this highlight, Artist Couture. This right here, Artist Couture. Up here, I was finessing myself. So I was using lip gloss because I really wanted to look like sticky, but it was getting too messy. So anyway, I had to finesse it. But basically up here, it's like from another brand like ColourPop. So basically, just say no. If you don't feel comfortable, if there's something going on where you, it doesn't feel right, that's a lot of red flags. That's a no, shut that down, it's clipped. Don't do it. Do not do it, okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, just wanna make sure you wasn't gonna do it. Be intentional with your content. That's factual. I like makeup. I also like to look good for my Instagram. But I also have an artist page where that's the only thing I post. It's like my photographs. When I start painting again, I'm gonna post everything on that page. I have a store page and I have my podcast page. You want to be intentional with the account that you have, okay? I just transformed my personal page into my digital creator page because I noticed that I'm posting more of my photos from makeup, my outfits. You, I'm gonna post my YouTube stuff on there because I feel like that goes online. My, when I start doing IGTV, my reels, you name it. Be intentional. Everything you put out there, people are gonna see it. Whether they receive it and like it, it's a whole different story but you want to be intentional with it know that when you put it out there don't take it back you don't want to take that back so make sure that you're absolutely sure that hey i like this i want this to stay but also don't forget to after a while go back over your instagram and see which pictures no longer serve you on your instagram as I keep talking to you about my notes, I hope that you guys will take a chance. Again, the conference is in May and I really want you to just go over to Instagram, see what it's about, take a look, all right? So the next part of my notes say, Man, this was the hard part. This was this is the part that I really want more information about was venture capital. And it talked about appetite towards your business, aka basically going into looking for investors. And this was the biggest part for me. Um, a lot of the speakers were just so good. They were so good. They were so helpful. Even Metin was there. I was so excited. And Honeypot, yo. <laughs> The founder for Honeypot, she was cracking me up. Really, she was. We all was talking about it in the um, in the comments, really. Also, 
when you sign up for the sip and slay you'll be you'll be connected on the slack channel what the slack channel do it gives you so much information but it also gives you a chance to network and connect with people the biggest thing i want to mention to you is that when you're trying to elevate yourself you want to network and connect with other people who are similar to you or have been in that experience or have gone through that before you so the biggest thing that i want to resonate with is that there's no such thing as free money because there isn't there are always going to be strings attached especially when it comes to like investors that you want to put into your brand or into your business the biggest thing for me is that will they take over you know so you want to make sure you have a you have a relationship with the investors you're keeping them updated and you're keeping them in the loop basically because sometimes the investor wants to be all in and be like oh i want to be part of the meetings i want to do this i want to do that and you that you might not like that at first but guess what they invested in you so they need to know what's going on with you or on the other hand they don't care they just want to see results they want to see their money coming back to them so profitability doesn't happen until you understand your business so my business right now is J Taven, but it's also me, YouTube, Instagram, other social medias. That's me. I'm making myself into a brand and I have another business that's also going to be my brand. If you can survive the first year, according to everyone else, then you're Gucci, you're good. But... It's a lot for me right now. I'm trying to work. I'm trying to do the video. I'm trying to be active on Instagram. I'm also trying to make sure that I'm uplifting you guys and I'm also uplifting myself. It's a whole bunch of shenanigans going on. Make sure that you are time managing yourself. Make sure that you get in that rest and that you are treating yourself. From Parks and Rets, treat yourself. Treat yourself hey, 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 treat yourself hey, 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 treat yourself a hey, hey, hey. little bit a little bit <laughs> but also the most biggest point was to empower yourself to make your own decisions don't be influenced by other people because at the end of the day it's all up to you it's all up to you whether something is successful or something is not successful at the end of the day and that's what is not taught to us you know as as a black woman i'm am scared of failure i am so scared of falling flat on my face because i know there is no one to catch me but i need to catch myself i need to figure out what went wrong and the possible solutions to what can go better the next time because there will be a next time that situation like i said before if you make the same mistake that means you haven't learned your lesson so empower yourself to make good decisions make sure that when you are making that decision that you are okay with it don't don't cut a rug and go back and say i want to change my mind it's too late it's already in action also here but i'm always saying it my mom's always saying it your actions don't just impact you they impact the people around you and that's what's so humbling to me. And I think that when I wake up and I realize I'm sad, I'm, I'm depressed, I don't want to be here, all those type of things. It's just, it's just the nature of being depressed and anxious about things is that you're asking yourself, do you matter? Of course you matter. But in that moment in time, you're thinking... I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to fail. I don't want to be a failure. I don't want to disappoint these people. The biggest person that you have to worry about is you. Because without you, nothing will get done. You, there, Like I said, there's only one. One of you. Okay? As I am looking at my notes, I'm realizing that I'm about to head up on my network where I had finally pressed that first off for sip and slay, I was extremely nervous. I was trying my best to hurry up, finish my makeup and everything. Then my hair wasn't working and 
I was just, I was just, I wanted to cry. I was like, forget it. I don't want to do this. But I pushed through it and I said, no, I want to go. I want to be a part. I want to be a part of something that is bigger than me. And it was. I met a girl, virtually, of course. I met a girl that was um, from my area. And I met another woman from, I think she's from, I, I think it was Nigeria. I might have to look at her Instagram account again. But everyone that I have met, I'm going to link them in my bio below. So that way you can go and check them out and see what they're about. But I had a beautiful conversation with a girl that lives in the DMV. She, 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 I was like, okay. She was beautiful. Who child? She was beautiful. And I was just looking at her like, wow. Loved by the sun. <laughs> so loved by the sun. <laughs> And the other lady was like a coach. Her words were, they still touch me now. I was crying. I was crying a little bit. I'm not gonna hold you. I was crying. My biggest thing that she asked me was where do I see myself in three months? And then she told me to perfect my day planner. Where I see myself in three months is that I want to have a job and have a steady income. I want to be able to pay my bills and pay them at a steadily rate to increase my credit. I want to be able to spend time with the people I love and tell them I love them, I appreciate them, and I wouldn't be here without them. Because that's true. I wouldn't be here without them. And of course, you know, treat yourself. Find time for me. Find time to be okay with doing nothing. Waking up and not feeling an overwhelming sense of panic because I have so much stuff to do. And then I procrastinate because I'm so stressed and so scared because I need to get it done, but I can't move. Some days I can't move. I can't I can't breathe because I'm, I'm thinking about, oh, what if I don't get it done today? There's always tomorrow. <laughs> There's always tomorrow. I, I'm telling you, there's always tomorrow. And I'm learning that lesson every single day. Every single day is different. You know? So, as I move on, there was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful part of the conference where there was a segment for Black men in fashion. And the biggest thing that they say, black culture is pop culture, because it is. Everything that everyone culture appropriates is from us. We are the blueprint. Black is the blueprint. It's not a flex if it's facts, okay? I'm just, I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger, okay? Black people are the blueprint. Black women especially are the blueprint, okay? So, when they start talking about Black Lives Matter abroad, you know, Black Lives, of course, matter um, movement started here. But abroad, it has taken on such a whole nother cape. But the most important part about talking about issues is remembering to be accountable and responsible for your own actions. What have you done today that you think has uplifted black people? I'm always thinking about how eventually the makeup that I wear, the clothes that I wear are from black owned businesses. I am lactose intolerant. And there are a lot of black owned businesses that do vegan stuff and vegan stuff doesn't include dairy so it's also dairy free and gluten free and I'm like at first I was like mm, I could still do dairy but I'm getting older you know I'm 24 and two other people that might be like oh you're so young this this and this yeah I'm young but I also have health problems and that's true as when they do these statistics they're looking at healthy people healthy people and nine times out of ten 
these statistics aren't even accurate because they're taking it off of other races or they're taking it off of white people, you know? And again, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what I've taken in, what have I observed and what I've noticed, especially when it comes to black health and black fashion, everything black related either gets appropriated, stolen, underappreciated, taken advantage of, and it's no longer black. If when black people do it, it ain't good. When a white person does it, see my point? We are the blueprint. Black culture has made this world go round, okay? Especially in the black diaspora. There was the, there was something that I did in college called the Dandy Movement. Um, talked a lot about like different cultures and how black men wearing suits was such, was such a powerful thing. It still is a powerful thing, first off. If you've never seen a black man in a suit, you never seen a black woman in a suit. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, cause we fine, okay? <laughs> we are so fine, mm, beautiful, beauty beyond compare. Also, it's also not our job to educate other black people. Knowledge is everywhere. They can Google it. They can look for books in the library if they really want to educate themselves on what's going on currently. Why, why are things the way they are now? It is not our job. My job is to educate myself first and foremost. If I'm in a discussion with someone, then, you know, that's a discussion. We're transferring information to each other. But if someone says something ignorant to me, I'm just going to look at them and be like, Okay, well, that's you. And I think that's valid. Some people, if you want to educate people, educate your, like, it's like educating your friends. Yeah, I agree with that. I wasn't wasn't trying to get heated, but I felt it in my spirit. I felt it. Basically, the biggest thing that I got from that is that when you take care of yourself internally, everything else flows. So I'm learning how to take care of here and here. And I feel lighter. I feel happier. I know that was such a jump from that conversation, but I'm trying to cool myself down because if not, I'm going to start on another tangent. Take care of you. Treat you better than you treat everybody else. My mom has done that pretty well. (laughs) She feels like something ain't her business (laughs) boo. Okay. Whew, man, as I'm getting to the end of my notes, I just want to let y'all know that the speakers that we had, I'm going to link their all their information so that way you can find them. You can see what they're about. But the most important speaker that I want to talk about is Jackie Aina. Ready? Check it, check it, check it. Jackie Anna, yes! yo, I was geeking, bro. I was geeking. I was like, oh, I was geeking. When I tell you I was excited, yo, I'm still excited just thinking about it. To see her, to like, to hear her like speak and just tell us the 411, the, the go, go, go digits, you know what I'm saying? I was geeking because two years ago, I went to Hawaii and I felt lost. And the first person that I saw on YouTube for the first time in a long time, because I haven't watched YouTube in forever, was her. 
I I felt like she was talking to me. I felt like she was speaking to me. And that's basically where I I picked up where I left off with my makeup journey with myself. And it's I don't know her personally, but she's a blessing to watch, to observe, to be a fan of. I love that woman <laughs> so much. She's auntie, you know? She's Auntie Jackie. She takes that very seriously. She's always uplifting, empowering black women, black owned businesses. I aspire, all right? I aspire. I aspire to love myself to the utmost respect and I love it. The biggest thing that she told us was stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You already know. Don't be loyal to apps. If an app ain't treating you right, ain't taking you out, whining and dining you, it's time to move on, sis. You said it, not me. I'm just, I listen. Messenger, I'm the messenger. I'm the messenger. That Instagram algorithm is a mess. The thing she emphasized was normalizing black luxury. I love the finer things in life. I like wine. I like jewelry but i also love books i love home decor now like as i get older i'm like wow i'm becoming super domestic and to splurge on myself shouldn't cause me guilt i especially makeup makeup can be expensive but it makes me feel amazing. It makes me feel so good. Get it right, get it tight. Part that I admire about Jackie is that we see her growth on YouTube. She's a decade. That's wild. <laughs> I would love to see myself in a decade and see how different things could be for me, whether I'm still on YouTube, whether I'm still trying to develop and grow myself as an artist, myself as a business owner myself as a as a person before the brand myself as a writer and a poet oh yeah there's a lot of fun stuff coming to this channel but share what you're comfortable with cope with it privately all right i'm gonna say it again share what you are comfortable with cope with it privately it is not everybody's business to know what you're going through if you feel like you're past it and you feel like it's something you want to share then by all means do that but people don't own you at the end of the day just because you're a brand doesn't mean that people own that you own you all right because and I loved what she said. No weapons against me shall prosper. That's a Bible quote for you. Anyway, I met beautiful people, beautiful women who uplifted me, told me that I can do what needs to be done and to not be afraid of that. So you shouldn't be either. I hope you take what I said close to you and you give that to someone else. Give it to someone else. Give the information to somebody else. We all need to learn. We all need to be better people at the end of the day. So give it away. Give a little bit of yourself to someone else. And don't look for anything in return. And you'll notice the change. You know, so with that being said, I'm always going to say that <laughs> with that being said, I love you all. Please stay safe. Take the information that I gave you. Take this look that I gave you. If you want to know how I created this look, please let me know in the description below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, I have more videos. If this is the first video that you're looking at. Um, sis, I have two other videos, so I need you to go take a look. All right?
Bye.